Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Watch your breath coming in. Watch it going out. See how long it can stay with it. Make it a game. How many breaths can you stay with before your mind wanders away? It'll, it's a little scary how quickly the mind can wander. Even when you make up your mind you want to do something, it goes someplace else. And this is your own mind. Think about the other things in the world that are even less under your control. And the reason we meditate is because you can bring some control to your mind. You develop your mindfulness, your ability to keep something in mind, and your alertness. The ability to watch what's going on, what you're doing, make sure that you stay with the breath. And then when you wander off, you know that you've wandered off and you can bring it right back. Because these qualities of mindfulness and alertness are really important for every task you would ever want to do in life. And that's what life is all about, the good things we can do. All too many people live for whatever nice things they can experience. But where do good experiences come from? They come from our own actions. So every day you want to make sure you've done something good for that day. It can either be an act of generosity or holding to your precepts in times when you're tempted to break them, or bringing your mind under control. In terms of generosity, it may, you may not have money to give a material gift, but you can give of your time, you can give of your empathy, you can give your help to other people, give your knowledge, give your forgiveness. These are all good things to give. They don't cost any money. And it's because of the goodness we've done that we actually have something to show for our lives. Because life is very short. Even people who live to be a hundred years old, it's not the case that they have a hundred years stashed away someplace where they can bring them out and look at them again, experience them again. They're gone. All that's left is the memory, and you know what happens to old people's memories. It gets very spotty, with big holes. What you do have, though, is the goodness you've done. If you haven't done any goodness, then you have nothing. Sometimes worse than nothing if you've done things that have harmed other people. It's like you've been weighing yourself down. So try to be heedful of the fact that every day slips by, slips by, and you want to have something to show for the fact that it has slipped by. As the Buddha said, those who are heedful don't die. This is the path to the deathless. Heedless people are as if they're already dead. In other words, time passes, but they don't have anything to show for it. So make sure that every day you choose to do something good. Help other people close to you, help other people further away. And make sure that you get your own mind under control. All these things are good things to do. And they stay with you. The goodness that you've done goes with you. As the Buddha said, it's like a shadow that follows you. It doesn't weigh you down. And it's always there when you need it. 